I'm a classically trained composer, but writing scores gives me a way to connect the human experience through music with a larger audience. And that's something that really interests me. One of the things that really got me into film scoring was watching the old spaghetti western movies. The film 310 to Yuma, which was my first Academy Award nomination, this film had elements of that. And what I wanted to do with this was pay homage to those scores, but also do something new. I studied Bach when I was a young pianist. I would learn the Bach Well-Tempered Clavier primarily as an exercise. And Bach has played a bigger role in shaping modern music than any other composer. It's now the 300th anniversary of when Bach finished writing the book one of the Well-Tempered Clavier. I thought it's really a fortuitous moment and it shouldn't be passed over. Have any of you listened to a piece of music and wondered, what was the composer thinking? It's something that I ask myself all the time, and usually I don't get an answer. But the very special thing about tonight is that not only do you get to allow your own imagination to fly, but you also get to hear a glimpse into the mind of our wonderful composer, Marco Beltrami. At some point, I heard all these inner worlds when I would play the preludes. And they would come out in little pieces in projects that I was working on, but nothing direct. The reason why I fell in love with this project is because Marco has taken these pieces and he hasn't disturbed what Bach wrote. What he did was he drew the emotional content out of them and puts them in the forefront. So where most people think of classical music as something that you're just, you know, sitting back and watching, this feels a lot more active. It's very common to use phrases of Bach or be inspired. That's not what I want to do. I want to actually recognize Bach and pay gratitude to him in something that is rooted in the past, but is relevant for our modern audience. I wanted to imbibe a little bit of showmanship into what the players are doing. I wanted to make it something intense, a visceral connection, so that if Bach was alive, he would be proud of the work that I'm doing.